Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you for this week, this particular week. Let's see. Aries, could you please give me overall energy for Aries? We have Universe, the World Card, Suffering in Silence, and Discontent and Boredom. Okay. So your overall energy shows that you might be, especially at the moment, quite discontent, bored. Might have something happened in the past that you feel that you have to just be quiet about the situation. It might make you feel that you are alone with your problems and that's why you are quite unhappy about the situation. However, the World Cup Universe number 21 shows that it is very likely that during this week the situation will end and you will welcome a completely new fresh energy. Let's see, could you please show me important messages for Aries in love with regards to day love life? Messages for Aries please for this week for Mm -hmm. Gosh, Aries, what happened here? Okay. I feel there was an ending, Aries, which was particularly difficult. If you've been in a long term relationship, it shows the cards are showing the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords that there was an ending. You might have blocked this person. Or you might decide that you don't want to communicate with them anymore. Seven of Wands is quite combative, defensive energy. I feel that that really, that really, really was difficult for you. And it was particularly painful. And that's why we have this energy of suffering in silence. You are discontent, you're bored, you, you, want, you want change. That change is coming. But that change will bring a completely, completely different, new, fresh energy. I, there is a sense of fate with regards to this particular situation, Aries. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. I feel that, that it is the sort of kind of, you know, energy of, of blessing in, in disguise, something like this. There was a blessing that the situation ended. You have three tenths. There is a major energy of completion and new beginning. I feel that during this week, you will feel a little bit confused still. However, the Wheel of Fortune, Death Card, Justice, there is a big sense of karma. So if you felt that you've been treated particularly unfairly during this week, there is a big emphasis that you would get, that you will get your justice. You will, you will feel particular, particularly satisfied with a certain outcome with regards to this particular love related situation. The lovers shows that there is a love. There is a love, a completely new energy, I feel it is, the lovers. There is a relationship, connection, very strong soul connection with someone. Please show me more about the lovers. You have major arcana all over. Yes, there is someone who, um, who wants to collaborate with you with the Three of Pentacles, who wants happily ever after with you. However, they feel that it's not a right time to make themselves known, okay, with this hanged man. We have strong Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces energy. I have Libra here and also fixed sign with this Wheel of Fortune, 
So Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, energy. Things will change during this week. It is very likely that you might still feel a little bit confused. However, there is a major shift with regards to your love related matters. Let's see what important messages will show up for you with regards to your work and finances. We have the Three of Wands, which is a card of waiting. Waiting on someone. Let's see what's that. For some of you, Aries, I feel that there was a situation that made you really disappointed. You felt regret. I feel that you trusted someone and that person might, might be untrue, two-faced. They might have been talking behind your back, you felt that the truth came out and you felt really disappointed. It is also, you know, over this reading, I feel that there is this sense of, of disappointment. Something didn't go the way it's supposed to go. And I feel that you, you, you kind of find out about it. There will be communication, Aries, during this week of regards to your quality matters. So if, you, um, if, if you're planning to undertake a um, new project, or if, there is some, if there is something which, which, which involves a new beginning, it will be very good for you because you have the sun and you have magician. So it speaks that you, you'll be at the end very satisfied with an outcome. You have two aces as well. New beginning, new cycle, something new. There is a fresh energy. And there is someone who, who, who's going to rush in and will want to also explain themselves with regards to this particular, particular work-related matter. You will have a communication. I see a good collaboration. I see new fresh energy. And I see that your finances, they look good during this week. Things will balance themselves out at the end. Your overall energy, from the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords, we have a Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Cups. Something really nice and pleasant is coming to you. You know, you'll be very happy and satisfied. The cards are showing that as soon as you put yourself first, new, fresh, beautiful energy will come to you, and you will see how someone truly cares for you because I can see that with this Knight of Pentacles. We have Leo, we have strong Aries, Gemini energy in here as well. Let's see what, oh, excuse me, Aries. We have, don't let your past hold you back. Exactly. There is a shift, new energy. Something that was really painful, no longer here. Don't let your past hold you back, absolutely. And your hard work is paying off. Your involvement, your, your dedication will be very much uh, visible during this week things will will get better and you will have your moment of clarity of happiness and acknowledgement thank you very much for being with me aries i really hope that it really, that this reading resonates with you and please like share and subscribe thank you very much once again bye